Good afternoon. Okay, if everyone's ready, we will start with Vinny at the front, please. Alan, just looking back at the weekend, and just wondered, did you realise at the time just how close that ball got to crossing the line when Edison eventually managed to take it away? How did he manage to stay so calm in that situation? Is it something all you Brazilian goalkeepers are, are good at? <laughs> Yeah, his face. I, I'm sure that was was fine, but I think his heart was was beating hard. <laughs> yeah, but Ederson is just like this. He's uh, calm and confident, and he's really good doing uh, what he does with his feet. Jamie Carragher and Roy, Roy Keane both agreed after the game, though, that the Liverpool haven't won as many trophies as they should have. How do you, as a group of players, feel about that? And do you feel that you need to put that right? Uh, yeah, I think we won uh, a lot of things in the in the last seasons. Uh, maybe the last season don't, but uh, we achieved Champions League, Premier League, uh, League Cup. Uh, we are still uh, fighting for the, the FA Cup, uh, Club World Cup. Um, so... I think we, we achieve really great things, but we are not uh, uh, happy. Uh, we are not fully satisfied with that because we we keep playing football and uh, as long as we, we are playing, we will play for, for win titles. So what's the biggest challenge facing you tomorrow night then to make sure that you get through to the semi-finals, particularly as you have that two-goal advantage? Yeah, Benfica is the biggest challenge. They are a really good side. They show that... Uh, at the at the first first game, uh, we scored two goals, and sometimes uh, people from outside can say, "Okay, now the game will be easy." But we know that two 0 is a is a is a difficult uh, score because you only concede once, and then it's game on again. And they did that, and was really game on. They have uh, opportunities, but we could score the third goal. That was really good for us. Is a a good advantage. For the for the next match, but uh, we have the feet on the ground, and uh, we are really focused on uh, on making the result for tomorrow to be qualified. Uh, just finally for me, I just wonder: Have you spoken to Edison after that little incident as well at, at the weekend? And have you spoken even about what, what distance there's still to go in this title race back here as well? <laughs> yeah, we didn't spoke about the, that moment, but. Um, yeah, we spoke a little bit after the match, and uh, yeah, we spoke how intense was the game and how good was that that match. Um, and uh, yeah, and um, about our kids as well. Uh, he he wasn't uh, he didn't went to the to the national team last time, so I asked how family his family were, and uh, that's it. Not too much about football. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Chris. Next, please. Uh, Ali, um, you've got twenty two. Clean sheets in all competitions this season. Just wondering, how, how much confidence do you have in the defence of the man who the back four is in front of you? Ooh, it's massive. Uh, I have uh, top players playing in front of me. No matter who is playing, he's always performing in, in, uh, in, in the highest level as possible. So I'm really happy to be part of this team. And even though you didn't keep clean sheet in the, in the first place, you still made a really important contribution. How much of a test do you feel that Benfica gave you last week, and what do you expect from their approach to be tomorrow? Yeah, it was a uh, was a uh, was a tough game. They have uh, uh, quick strikers. They have a uh, strong striker uh, as a number nine. I know Everton as well from Brazil. I know his qualities, uh, how good he is. Uh, they uh, gave us a lot of work to do. And uh, but we are ready to face them. We are ready to and prepared to to face uh, that match and to to achieve our goals. And after games, when you make saves like you did against Everton in, in the first leg, like, how much of a chance do you get to kind of appreciate them and, and celebrate them almost, or is it you know, as a goalkeeper just straight back to work? Do you get a chance to appreciate what you've done? I appreciate after the game <laughs> because in the game is not. It's not the time to to be celebrating too much because as a goal, goalkeeper you make a save and then you can concede after uh, in a few minutes or in a few seconds. So 
uh, on the pitch we have not time to to celebrate saves or I think I I allow myself to celebrate goals <laughs> a little bit because yeah I like it uh, I like to feel the passion uh, and uh, the atmosphere at the stadium in the time that we score but uh, about the saves only after the match thank you uh, Dom next please Ali if, uh, if all goes bad and um, you achieve all the aims that you want you could play 13 or 13 games I think before um, the end of May the uh, schedule is incredible how are you um, dealing with the, like, the physical demands the, the strange times that you're playing the distances that you're having to go how are you coping with it mentally at this level, we need to be prepared for that, and we are. We have a great fitness uh, staff. Um, we are training every day for that. Uh, to we have uh, the targets that uh, is achieving all the finals, is playing all the games that uh, uh, as much games as it's possible for us in the in the season. So we want to to win everything. Uh, so we are ready for that. Of course, it's not easy. Of course, we sometimes we feel tired, but um, you need to put in your mind that uh, you have uh, energy enough to to deal with every every challenge. So there's nothing daunting, nothing worrying about about that sequence. It's something you actually love to play those games. Yeah, we want to be in 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 every matches. Of course. Uh, after the, if you play those those matches after that, you feel tired and then you think maybe oh it's a crazy schedule. But uh, we are focused on our our goals for now, and uh, now is Benfica. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. That please, yeah. Yeah, Portuguese is fine. Yeah, it's fine. What time? What time? E o Everton, o Dario, já, vocês já o conhecem, mas foram muito amigos, no estádio da Luz, da primeira mão, e o Everton foi isso, companheiro na seleção. Que jogadores é que merecem mais atenção do, do Liverpool, do Darwin, e o Everton, como é que vê o momento dele no Benfica? Não tem sido convocado para a seleção, o jogador conhece, que os jogadores é que mais perigosos, os jogadores é que mais perigosos, Todos os jogadores do Benfica merecem muita atenção, são todos jogadores é, muito capacitados. É, uma equipe que alcançou a quarta de final da Champions League é algo importante a se fazer. É, obviamente que como um goleiro, é, a maior parte do tempo vou estar concentrado em neutralizar os atacantes, né, como defensor. A gente, em defensores a gente vai sempre estar muito preocupado com seus atacantes tem o Rafa também de muita qualidade um plantel de qualidade não só os jogadores que, que saíram jogando mas com substituições importantes também né? o Darwin vem mostrando aí que é um, um grande atacante fazendo um hat-trick no seu último jogo é, isso mostra a sua importância dentro da, da sua equipe e o Everton, eu conheço ele, sei do seu potencial é, e eu torço muito para que ele consiga desenvolver todo o seu potencial pelo Benfica. É uma grande pessoa também né, e, um, e um excelente companheiro de, de trabalho. Thank you. I'll get to Paul Joyce next, please. Wilson, all, all the games are um, on a knife edge between success and failure. Now, have you thought about going forward at a corner if, if needs be? <laughs> <laughs> I think now if it's needed, it's clear that I'm going. <laughs> no, but normally is the is the boss that decide if I goes or not. Uh, it was uh, against uh, West Bromwich, but at that time, uh, John was the one who called me to to go to the box. If they call me, I go. If don't, no problem. We have enough players to, to score. <laughs> but we know all these games now, it could be last minute. Would, would you think twice about doing it again or trying to do it again? I hope that uh, will not be necessary, but 
if it's needed, if it's the last time, uh, yeah, we will try everything that we uh, that we have to to win the games. Thank you, uh, gentleman in the middle there. Hello. Olá, Alison. Meu nome é Carlos Alquerque, sou jornalista da RTP, da Televisão Pública. O Sr. Klopp disse há bocadinho que o Benfica não vai jogar apenas contra o Liverpool, vai jogar também contra o ambiente e contra os adeptos do Liverpool. Sente que o Benfica vai ter uma noite ainda mais difícil do que aquela que teve no estado de Luz e o Alisson, enquanto guarda-redes, sente que vai ser um jogo para si mais fácil, mais difícil, tendo em conta que o Benfica luta para a vida nesta eliminatória, qual é a sua opinião sobre isso? Ele falou a verdade, é, eu já joguei aqui contra o Liverpool, então é verdade o que ele está falando, joguei aqui pela Roma, então sei quão difícil é jogar contra a nossa equipe é, em uma noite de Champions League, uma noite de decisão. É, agora depende do que a nossa equipe vai fazer dentro de campo, sim. É, tenho certeza que nós vamos estar bem preparados é, para essa partida. E sobre a outra pergunta, espero sim que vai ser uma partida ainda mais difícil, que eu, vai demandar para mim mais concentração, uma equipe que, que com certeza vai jogar tudo. É, eles já estavam jogando a vida no primeiro jogo, é, por aquilo que apresentaram dentro de campo, o resultado apenas foi melhor para nós, soubemos aproveitar melhores as, as chances que tivemos. É, eu acredito que, que será uma grande partida. Né? Espero que tenha um final feliz para nós, para a nossa equipe. É, e acredito muito no, na, nas nossas qualidades. Tendo em conta que o seu irmão jogou em Portugal, no Lourenço, de uma equipa portuguesa, é para si também especial? É sim, meu irmão viveu grandes momentos em Portugal. É, ele e a sua família gostam muito. Né? É, viveram em Lisboa. É, tem planos de, de talvez voltar para lá. É, então, para mim, com certeza, é, é especial. Só para fechar, vão treinar hum. penaltis ou não? Jogo? Temos que treinar, tem, temos que estar preparado para tudo. É, é, obviamente, o nosso objetivo é a classificação é, com um bom resultado, com uma vitória, que não seja necessário pênalti, mas nós vamos estar prontos para tudo. Muito obrigado. Thank you. We'll take our last three questions. A gentleman at the front there. Fico feliz, né, por ele é, tá tendo esses números. Fez um grande jogo também contra nós. Fez defesas importantes é, em momentos de um contra um que poderiam ter definido ainda um resultado um pouco melhor para nós. É um goleiro com confiança também, jovem, como tu falou, né? tem, tem, tem muito espaço para evoluir ainda dentro do futebol e já poder estar tá atuando em, em grande nível, é, fico muito feliz por ele. Né? O nosso futebol é, sempre conta com grandes goleiros, é, espero que ele também seja um dos grandes nomes aí para o futuro. Bom, é, acredito que hoje tudo que, que eu alcancei, né, tudo que nós alcançamos como equipe dentro desse clube nos últimos anos né, e também com os meus resultados individuais, isso traz um respaldo é, e isso faz com que as pessoas comecem a observar mais é, no dia a dia e sobre sobre um todo, sobre um geral de comportamento, de, de, de trabalho, de, de técnica, né? e 
Então acredito que aqui eu venho representando muito bem a escola de goleiro brasileira. Agora tendo a oportunidade de, de ter o Tafarel aqui ao meu lado, podendo trabalhar no dia a dia com ele, não só na seleção, para mim tem sido muito importante. Todos os goleiros também têm, têm visto isso, têm, é, estão crescendo também é, durante esse curto período já que, que ele está que ele trabalhando com a gente. Tem o Marcelo, né, que ele é a prova de que os olhos é, internos aqui do Liverpool estão é, voltados para os goleiros brasileiros. Né? É, então contratando um goleiro jovem para o futuro, preparando ele talvez para um futuro, é, aqui dentro do clube, é, já demonstra isso. Né? Então eu fico muito feliz é, de vir aqui, não só conquistar títulos, mas também deixar uma marca, é, deixar um legado e poder abrir portas, é, assim como o Tafarel abriu portas na Europa para os goleiros brasileiros, né? eu poder abrir portas, é, continuo, deixando as portas abertas, na verdade, né? porque outros goleiros brasileiros já passaram por aqui, né, o Doni, o Cavalieri, é, então deixando essas portas abertas aí para que mais brasileiros venham se, se venham a se transferir para cá, ou não só para o Liverpool, mas também na Premier League. O Ederson também deixa a porta escancarada aí para isso. É, então espero que a gente possa estar tá também possibilitando a outros goleiros de, de ter essa confiança né, do, do, do futebol inglês ou do futebol europeu de estar tá olhando para os brasileiros. Thank you. And then final question with Carl at the back, please. Uh, you spoke earlier about obviously wanting to win four trophies. I'm just wondering when do you as players start talking about the prospects of winning a particular trophy? Uh, I think uh, all, all the time that uh, we are not focused on uh, on the next challenge, we we speak a little bit and uh, and uh, we don't need to, to talk too much about that because uh, we are in a big club and a big club want to 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 do great things want to achieve great goals uh, the targets are are high and uh, our mainly focus is is win any uh, any title that is in front of us uh, every challenge that is in front of us so it's something that is already in, in our minds and uh, we will fight for, for all the challenges that we have in front of us. So, for example, the Carabao Cup final, when would you think about when you could win that? Is it, is it on the day of the final, the day before the final, when you're thinking about winning a trophy? No, uh, in the beginning of the season, we start to dream already. We start to set the, the targets. We start to, to prepare yourself for the, the whole season and then uh, Uh, I think it's there where it started the the preparation for 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 every moment, and then you will play and you will see where the team can go. We know that football is uh, is not that easy. That you just set targets and then okay, you win. You have to play. Uh, you face uh, great opponents, and here in uh, in England uh, is really hard as Premier League or. League Cup or FA Cup, you you play against the best teams in the world. Uh, but of course, when you when you reach a final, and then you see how close you are from from lifting a trophy. So it's a, an important moment as well. But we face all the games that we have in front of us with the, the desire to win and to to achieve our targets. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, guys. Obrigado.